And for my first impression of the PEG 36, how did it actually perform? Specs are great, but how did it actually feel on my feet? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for, the Nike Pegasus 36. First impression, uh, I have not run in these shoes ever before, so this is my initial gut reaction right now as to how they feel on feet. Let's rock and roll, here we go. All right, oh man. All right, I'm, I'm feeling the drop, feeling the, the drop in, in the shoe. So very comfortable upper. And the fit, I went true to size. It's feeling um, a little narrow in the heel, but I like that kind of nice tight fit through the heel. And uh, the, the toe box, no, no scrunching up there in the toe box. Uh, but yeah, just a little, little tight in the heel, which is fine with me. I'll have to examine that uh, heel counter a little bit as we uh, proceed on. All right, let's go get this running. about halfway through on these first impression vlogs. I always carry my phone with me just to take notes to make sure I don't forget some of the details that are popping out for how this shoe is feeling because uh, it's the first time and I don't want to miss anything. So anyway, I'm going to take a few notes right now and this will be very uh, helpful for back in the studio. All right, here we go. Let's see. Upper is feeling lighter. All right, got the notes. Let's go. And it's good to be back. Oh my goodness. So everyone that's new, welcome. Just so you know, I'm coming off of a six week injury where I wasn't able to run for six weeks and I haven't been able to do a first impression or a full review of any running shoe for six weeks. It was breaking my heart, but finally today was the day to get back into it and yes, give you my first impressions of the Pegasus 36. Keyword for this vlog is Pegasus and just so everyone knows who's new, I do a keyword for every single vlog and what happens is people hit up the keyword down in the comments basically to help get the conversation going about the topic for today. And yes, today we're talking about this shoe. Uh, just so you know, this is not my full review of the Pegasus 36. I always put 50 miles, at least 50 miles into a running shoe before I give you my full review. I feel like I, I get a good grasp on how the shoe is performing after 50 miles. So just want to make that clear. And yes, if you like the style and the energy and the goodness and beauty of this vlog, make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, by the end of this video. And my first impressions of the Nike Pegasus 36. So you should first know it's neutral, all right? So everyone out there that needs a stability running shoe, this is not for you. It is pretty loosey-goosey, all right, through that midsole. It's medium cushioned, so it's not maximalist and it's not minimalist. Remember, we broke down the differences in that vlog upper right-hand corner, and it's a road shoe. However, you saw me today running on grass, running on really hard packed down dirt. It does just fine on the transition between pavement, concrete, and I know this because of the Pegasus 35 from last year, but this outsole pattern is actually, I would say, a little on the aggressive side with respect to road running shoes. You could easily take this out on a buffed out trail 
or a, a buffed out bike path like I was on today. So no worries there. All right, moving on to this midsole, it's a 10 millimeter drop. So a little higher on the scale as far as daily trainers is concerned. I prefer the six to eight range, but we'll take it, 10 is okay. Uh, so it's a 28 millimeter stack height in the heel, eight till 18 millimeter in the forefoot. I would love to see that forefoot at 20, which would make the shoe a, an eight millimeter drop as opposed to 10, but again, we will take it. My size is coming in at 8.3 or 8.4 ounces. Uh, so I think size nine is coming in at about 9.9 uh, .9 ounces in men's. Uh, and you should know in grams, here it is in grams in my size, there it is on your screen. And by far, now listen, this is not my comparison video. We're gonna do some running shoe battle videos very soon now that I am back to running. I'm not gonna compare the 36 to the 35 too much tonight, but I do just have to say that the upper has had a pretty big transformation from the Pegasus 35, specifically with the tongue. Oh my goodness. So the tongue rests, it's right here. It sits right on the top of your foot. It is much, much, much thinner than the Pegasus 35. You see it there on your screen, which does, I believe, create a little more breathability, however, through right through the top of your foot. However, remember the issues I had with the Nike Vimero 14? I had pain on the top of my foot. I think the tongue on the Vimero 14 could be a little longer or taller and also just a little bit more cushion. I'm okay with a little more cushion through that, through the tongue of a running shoe. So this tongue on the Pegasus 36 is reminding me a lot of the Vimero 14. So I'm hoping that after 50 miles, I don't feel any pain through the top of my foot because of a, th a more uh, thin uh, tongue compared to the Pegasus 35. And through the rest of the upper, you're, you're gonna see a lot more perforations. If I, if my, am I pronouncing that correctly? I don't know. But basically a lot more holes through the upper to create, again, more breathability. And today in Denver, it was the warmest day of the year, 85 degrees so far in 2019. And I felt great with respect, like my feet didn't feel overheated or too warm at all today uh, with this nice, nice update, a much more nimble and lighter upper uh, overall through the toe box and also just through the midfoot as well. Uh, and then I don't know if they changed the fly wire cables too, too much from the Pegasus 35. They look a little longer actually. I'm liking them. I think they, they seem like they're just a little longer and probably a little better material used for those fly wire cables for that nice lockdown feel over your midfoot. So good work there, Nike. I, I think so far so good with those fly wire cables. And just so you know, there's recent updates to the Pegasus lineup with this full uh, zoom air unit through the midsole. And it felt, it felt great today, nice and smooth, um, but it almost feels a little too bouncy or it needs to break in a little bit. Like uh, my feet, almost like there was a bubble underneath my foot, like ever, ever so slightly. So that's just a first impression. I'm sure that will go away with more miles in the shoe, but just want to put that out there. If it feels a little, like bounce is good, but you don't want to feel like you're on a, like in a bouncy castle, you know what I mean? So anyway, but there is a, a full zoom air unit from heel to toe in this Nike Pegasus 36. As I already mentioned today, I went true to size and I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So plenty of room for me through the forefoot. Uh, but again, I just think that the heel seems a little more narrow than the 35. If I felt it today, again, need more time, and maybe it's this heel counter. So what is that? That's the area right here in the back of your heel. There's this flare uh, for your Achilles tendon, so your Achilles isn't rubbing on the, uh, so the back of the shoe, uh, the heel counter isn't rubbing on your Achilles tendon. It's definitely a little taller than the 35, just so you know, but keep that in mind. Uh, as you're trying on the Pegasus 36 at running shoe stores, if it feels a little narrow through your heel, you're not imagining it because I felt it today. Keep me posted though down in the comments if you're feeling that a little bit as well. And for my first impression of the Peg 36, how did it actually perform? Specs are great, but how did it actually feel on my feet? So a couple times I had to look down at my feet on the run and remind myself I was in the 36 because it felt very, very familiar, very similar, I should say, to the Pegasus 35, just so you know. So as far as major differences with respect to ride, 
I didn't feel much at all. Like I had to look down and be like, oh yeah, okay, I'm in the Pegasus 36. And another first impression real quick is that I think it's gonna take 15, 20, 25 miles to really break the shoe in. Uh, I, which kind of surprises me because Nike, I haven't had that experience in too many, like the turbo, definitely not. Like right out of the box, it was ready to go. Uh, but anyway, this guy, I can sense it's just going to need a little time out on the roads, out on the, the pack down dirt before it's really ready to rock and roll. And how will I use the Pegasus 36 in my running shoe rotation? Just like the Pegasus 35. Yes, I'm going to put it in the easy day or recovery day category. You could use it for a tempo day, you could use it for a long run shoe, but I just think there's there's better options out there for you. It's just gonna be perfect for those four to eight mile runs where you're just kind of bopping along, you're just getting miles in, helping those legs recover to get ready for the next day. So that's how I'm gonna use it. All right, again, keyword is Pegasus and question of the day on the scale. So you just gotta give a number, scale of one to 10, what is your interest in buying this shoe in 2019? All right, so one being not at all, and 10 being absolutely, I'm gonna pick it up. Let us know down in the comments, and if you have time, let us know why as well. All right, thank you so much for your patience. Once again, over the last 42 days, or however long it was, waiting for another running shoe first impression and review it's just oh i'm just i'm just floating I, i'm so excited that we're back to this and then we can begin to test out many shoes for all of you moving forward thanks for being here thanks for watching and again if you like today's vlog make sure you hit that subscribe button we have a good time here on the youtube seek beauty work hard and love each other See you tomorrow. Bum, bum, bum. here we go